The Power of Presence. Unlock Your Inner Peace. Written and published by N. Gasmind. This book invites you on a journey towards profound personal transformation. You'll take practical lessons to cultivate the life-changing skill of mindfulness, unlocking a deep wellspring of inner peace and resilience. Say goodbye to feeling hijacked by stress and hello to a life where you face each day with clarity and unwavering strength. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Lesson 1. Conquer Workplace Stress with Mindfulness The buzzing of the office, the constant ping of notifications, the never-ending stream of deadlines, it's enough to send your mind into a tailspin. Work often feels like a race against the clock, a desperate attempt to stay on top of a mountain of tasks that only seems to grow taller. This relentless pressure leaves us stressed, exhausted, and burnt out, and that's no way to live. So, what can you do when work feels overwhelming? Instead of piling on more tasks and self-help hacks, it's time for a different approach. Mindfulness. It's a simple yet powerful way to regain control of your focus and bring a sense of calm back into your workday. Think of your mind as an overexcited puppy, constantly jumping from one distraction to another. Mindfulness offers a gentle leash to bring your focus back to the present moment, again and again. It's about noticing the subtle sensations you normally tune out, the coolness of the air on your skin, the rhythm of your breath, the hum of fluorescent lights. These simple acts of awareness act like a reset button for your brain. They disrupt the autopilot of worry and anxiety allowing you to step back from the mental chaos. It's a surprisingly effective way to ease tension on the spot, even amidst a hectic workday. Let's make this real. Imagine you're swamped with a million things to do, and your mind is buzzing with worry about a looming presentation. Instead of spiraling deeper into stress, try this. Set a timer for two minutes. Close your eyes, if possible, and focus on the weight of your body in your chair. Notice the feeling of your back against the backrest and your feet on the floor. Then, shift your attention to your breath, the simple in and out flow. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back. I know, it sounds almost too simple. But these small moments of mindfulness add up. With consistent practice, you'll train your brain to focus more easily, like building muscle memory for your attention. You'll find yourself less reactive to the inevitable stresses of work, and your ability to concentrate and think clearly will improve dramatically. Another powerful tool is the body scan. This practice brings your awareness into different parts of your body helping you discover and release tension you may not even realize you're carrying. You can find guided body scans online, or simply follow this process. Lying down or sitting comfortably, direct your focus to your toes, noticing any sensations. Slowly move your attention up your body, through your legs, your torso, your arms, and finally the muscles of your face. You might be surprised at the relief that comes from simply being present in your body. Mindfulness isn't about escaping the realities of work, but about changing your relationship with them. You'll still have projects and deadlines, but you might just find yourself less hijacked by stress and better equipped to handle them with clarity and a quiet strength. Lesson 2. Break free from negative thinking for increased happiness. We all know that little voice. It's the one that sneaks in when we make a mistake, telling us we're a failure. It's the voice that replays embarrassing moments on a loop. It's the voice that compares us to others and convinces us that we'll never measure up. Let's face it, our inner critic can be brutal, wearing away at our self-esteem and making it difficult to experience happiness. 
Here's the good news. You don't have to let that voice run the show. You can absolutely learn to manage those negative thoughts, breaking their hold over your mood and creating more space for confidence and joy. The first step is to become aware of how your inner critic operates. Instead of simply getting dragged along by those harsh thoughts, try watching them as if they belong to someone else. When a thought like, I'm such an idiot, pops up, mentally take a step back and think, oh, there's that critical voice again, telling me lies. This simple act of separation weakens the negative thought's power. Let's try a real-world example. Imagine you slip up during a presentation. Your inner critic might start a barrage of thoughts. Everyone thinks I'm incompetent now. I always mess up. Etc. Instead of believing those thoughts as your ultimate reality, see if you can separate yourself and observe them with a sense of curiosity instead of fear. It might take practice, but the distance you create between yourself and your negative thought patterns is transformative. You realize those hurtful thoughts are not you, just mental chatter that comes and goes. Another powerful antidote is shifting your attention into the present moment. This is where true mindfulness comes in. When you're lost in a thought spiral, try grounding yourself in your senses, the solid floor beneath your feet, the sound of the air conditioner, the feeling of your fingertips on your keyboard. This gentle re-anchoring helps to release the grip of negativity. The more you practice present moment awareness, the more resilient you become. You'll start to catch yourself sooner when the negative inner critic rears its ugly head, and you'll step back instead of tumbling down the rabbit hole of self-doubt. It's about creating space between your thoughts and your true self. Just imagine how much lighter and happier you'll feel when you stop believing every nasty thing your mind throws at you. Lesson 3. Discover your true self beyond the ego. Imagine your life is a movie, and you are the main character. You have a role to play, with lines to deliver, places to go, and goals to achieve. The ego is the part of you that's totally caught up in the drama of the movie, obsessing over your performance, comparing yourself to other characters, and desperately craving applause from the audience. While your ego helps you navigate the plot of your life, it's easy to forget that you're not just the character you're playing. Deep down, you are also the director, the screenwriter, and even the quiet observer in the theater watching it all unfold. Tapping into that deeper awareness of yourself is a game changer. Here's why, when you completely identify with your ego, your mood swings with every twist of the plot. A negative review, or even the perception of one, can feel crushing. Success might leave you feeling elated but secretly fearing it won't last. This constant seeking of external validation and the worry about what others think is exhausting. But what if you could find peace and confidence that doesn't rely on how the movie of your life is going? That's what happens when you discover your true self beyond the ever-changing ego. Beneath the endless stream of thoughts, anxieties, and labels, there's a vast space of awareness that's always there, simply witnessing your experience. This is your true, unchanging essence. To get a glimpse of this, try the following. Next time you're feeling lost in a swirl of thoughts, bring your attention to the physical sensations of your body. Notice the weight of your body in the chair. The feeling of the floor beneath your feet. Then, shift your focus to your breath, simply observing its rhythm. This simple act anchors you in the present moment and creates space between the thinker and the observer. The more you practice this skill, the easier it becomes to catch yourself getting swept up in negative self-talk or the ego's need for approval. With practice, you begin to disidentify with that part of yourself, understanding it's a useful tool but not your true nature. 
This shift in perspective brings a profound sense of freedom and inner peace. Imagine experiencing challenges with a quiet confidence, knowing that your worth doesn't hinge on any outcome. Imagine making choices aligned with your values instead of worrying about impressing others. Imagine the feeling of unshakable self-acceptance, regardless of external circumstances, because you know who you are beyond the roles you play in the world. That's the gift of discovering your true self. Lesson 4. Find inner peace by embracing the present moment. Have you ever noticed how much time we spend dwelling on the past or worrying about the future? We replay embarrassing moments in our heads, rehash old arguments, or stress endlessly about things that haven't even happened yet. This constant mental time travel robs us of the only moment we truly have, the present. The irony is, all this dwelling rarely solves anything. In fact, it's the perfect recipe for stress and unhappiness. So, how do we break this exhausting pattern and cultivate a sense of peace, even when life throws curveballs? One of the most profound answers comes from the ancient wisdom of mindfulness. By learning to embrace the present moment, we find the space where true stillness resides. The more we practice this, the more peaceful and empowered we become. What does it mean to embrace the present? It's about bringing a conscious acceptance to whatever is happening right here, right now, without adding a layer of resistance, judgment, or wishing things were different. Let's be real, this is much easier said than done. Our minds are so accustomed to being elsewhere, that settling into this moment can feel awkward at first. That's why mindfulness takes practice. It's about gently but continuously bringing your awareness back to the simple sensations of the present. Here's an exercise to try. Sit in a quiet spot and close your eyes. Notice the feeling of your breath flowing in and out. Notice the rise and fall of your belly. Pay attention to the sounds around you as they come and go. Any time a thought tries to drag you away, simply acknowledge it without judgment and guide your focus back to the present. Set a timer for 5 minutes to start, and gradually increase the time as your focus builds. At its core, accepting the present moment doesn't mean you stop striving, setting goals, or solving problems but it shifts the way you do everything. Instead of fighting against reality or fearing the future, you develop a sense of relaxed alertness, able to take action from a calmer, more centered place. This type of presence is a superpower, especially in today's world of endless distraction. Embracing the present moment transforms the way you experience everyday life. Your worries begin to soften even within difficult circumstances. It's easier to let go of the small irritations and focus on what truly matters. Imagine finding peace amidst chaos, that's the gift of presence. Lesson 5. Master your emotions for improved mental health. Have you ever felt so overwhelmed by anger, sadness, or fear that it seemed to take over? Emotions are a powerful and natural part of the human experience, but when they run unchecked, they can wreak havoc on our well-being. The key isn't to suppress emotions but to develop a healthier relationship with them. Traditional approaches to emotional overwhelm often encourage us to battle our feelings. We try to think our way out of them, distract ourselves, or numb ourselves in unhealthy ways. But what if we stopped fighting? What if we got curious about our emotions, without judgment, and simply allowed them to move through us? This is the revolutionary perspective that mindfulness offers. We tend to identify deeply with our emotional states. We say things like, I am angry, or I am depressed, but that's just not true. 
Emotions are like weather patterns passing through us. They come and go, and you are the vast sky upon which they play out. This distinction is powerful. It doesn't diminish the intensity of the emotions we feel, but it gives us freedom. Through mindfulness, we can learn to watch our emotions with a sense of spacious awareness, rather than getting lost in the storm. So how do we do it? Let's say you're caught in a spiral of worry. Instead of feeding that worry with more frantic thoughts, gently shift your attention to the physical sensations in your body. Maybe your stomach feels tight, your shoulders are tense, your breath is shallow. By consciously observing these sensations, you begin to create separation between the emotion and your core sense of self. Another useful technique is labeling emotions as they arise. Simply noting, sadness is present, there's fear, or anger is rising, brings a sense of objectivity and starts to diffuse their power. Many of us carry old emotional residue, what's sometimes called a pain body. These are unprocessed emotions from the past that can flare up at the slightest trigger, even when not consciously remembered. Mindfulness allows us to shine a compassionate light on these old patterns. As we witness them without judgment, they begin to naturally dissolve. This awareness-based approach isn't about becoming emotionless. In fact, as you become less reactive to negative emotions, your full spectrum of feelings becomes richer and more vibrant. You experience joy more deeply, and you develop a healthy capacity to navigate life's inevitable challenges with resilience. Here's a simple exercise to try. During a difficult emotional moment, try shifting your attention to your breath. Notice the inhalation the slight pause at the top of the breath, the exhalation, and the pause after. As you focus on this natural rhythm, allow your emotions to simply be present, without trying to change them. Remember, mindfulness is a practice. The more present you become to your emotional landscape, the easier it is to manage your emotions without being controlled by them. Imagine responding to stress calmly instead of explosively. Imagine moving through sadness with grace instead of collapsing into despair. This level of emotional mastery is your birthright, and it transforms every area of your life. Lesson 6. Build deeper relationships through presence. Our relationships are central to a fulfilling life. Whether it's with a partner, a family member, a friend, or a colleague, the quality of our connections impacts our happiness and well-being in countless ways. Unfortunately, even our most cherished relationships can sometimes feel strained, disconnected, or fraught with misunderstanding. Here's the good news. Mindfulness has the power to transform our relationships by bringing a new level of presence, compassion, and skillful communication. Most of our interactions are colored by our egos. We project our past experiences onto the present moment, judge and criticize others, and ourselves, and get caught up in our need to be right, often at the expense of truly connecting. Our conversations can easily spiral into arguments, defensiveness, or simply a feeling of talking past each other instead of really hearing. Mindfulness interrupts these unhealthy patterns. It helps us become aware of our triggers, our projections, and the ego's need to control the conversation. When we bring the practice of presence into our relationships, something beautiful happens. It creates space for true listening and authentic connection. What does mindful communication look like? First, it's crucial to listen with your full attention. Really focus on the other person's words instead of just formulating your response. Notice their tone of voice, their body language. Put away your phone and resist the urge to interrupt. It sounds simple, 
but this type of deep listening makes people feel seen and understood at a core level. Secondly, watch your language. Cultivate an awareness of how your words land on the other person. Can you express your needs and feelings without blaming or labeling? Instead of, you always, or, you never. Try starting sentences with, I feel, or, I need. Be mindful of harsh criticisms and try to focus on describing the situation and its impact without judgment. Presence also helps us tap into our empathy. When a conflict arises, try to understand things from the other person's perspective. Instead of immediately defending yourself, pause for a moment. Breathe. Try to put yourself in their shoes and understand their intentions and feelings. This doesn't mean giving up your own point of view, but it opens the door to compromise and finding solutions that work for both of you. Mindfulness also offers a powerful way to navigate those moments when you just can't see eye to eye. Sometimes, stepping away and simply observing your emotions can be the best thing you can do. A short cooling off period, followed by reconnecting when you're both calm, can often lead to a more productive and heartfelt conversation. The practice of presence makes relationships more fulfilling in everyday ways too. Shared experiences become richer. You're more fully present during shared meals, conversations, or quality time. You find yourself appreciating the good moments even more deeply. Imagine resolving conflicts more skillfully, feeling truly listened to, and understanding your loved ones on a deeper level. Imagine the peace that can come from relinquishing the ego's need to always be right and instead focusing on cultivating genuine connection. This is the gift of a mindful approach to relationships. Lesson 7. Achieve flow state and unlock your full potential. Have you ever been so absorbed in an activity that time seems to melt away? You're completely immersed in the present moment, your actions flow effortlessly, and you feel a deep sense of joy and satisfaction. This is the elusive state of consciousness known as, flow, and it's both a peak performance state and one of life's most fulfilling experiences. Psychologists describe flow as an optimal state of focus where our skills are perfectly matched to the challenge at hand. It's the zone where athletes break records, artists create masterpieces, and even everyday tasks take on a pleasurable quality. But flow is not just about productivity, it's about fully engaging our potential as humans. So, how can we cultivate this flow state more often? While there's no guaranteed formula, mindfulness plays a central role. Flow arises naturally when we're fully present. Here's why. No past, no future. In flow, the usual chatter of the mind quiets down. We're not dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. Instead, our awareness is fully absorbed in the task at hand. Ego dissolves, our sense of self temporarily fades away, and we experience a blissful merging with the activity. It's the opposite of self-consciousness. This freedom from the ego's judgment and need for control allows us to perform at our best. Action and awareness merge. Every action seems to arise effortlessly from the one before it. We're not overthinking or second-guessing ourselves but simply responding to what the moment demands with clarity and precision. While you can't force a flow state, there are things you can do to increase its likelihood. Here are some tips. Choose activities with a clear goal and immediate feedback, whether it's playing a sport, coding, writing, or playing a musical instrument. The task should provide continuous feedback that helps you adjust your actions in the moment. Find the sweet spot of challenge. The task should be just beyond your current skill level, pushing you to grow, but not so difficult that you feel overwhelmed or anxious. 
Minimize distractions. Turn off notifications. Find a quiet space. And allow yourself to become fully absorbed. Focus on the process, not the outcome. Instead of obsessing over the end result, surrender to the enjoyment of the activity itself. You can experience flow in any area of your life. Maybe it's through creative projects, sports, cooking, engaging conversations, or even your work. The more you practice bringing focused presence to your activities, the more often those magical moments of flow will arise. Imagine approaching your tasks with a sense of joyful effortlessness. Imagine losing track of time, silencing your inner critic, and experiencing a profound sense of fulfillment in the present. That's the power of flow. Lesson 8. Surrender to life's flow for greater trust and acceptance. Life doesn't always cooperate with our plans. Unexpected challenges, painful losses, and frustrating delays are simply part of the human experience. We can try to control everything, clinging desperately to our ideas of how life should be. But this constant struggle often leads to exhaustion, disappointment, and even bitterness. What if there was a different way? What if, instead of fighting against reality, we learned the liberating art of surrender? True surrender isn't about giving up or becoming passive. It's about releasing the need for rigid control and trusting in a deeper wisdom unfolding beyond what the mind can fully comprehend. Mindfulness is crucial to developing this type of surrender. When we bring awareness to our inner resistance, we become conscious of the mental and emotional energy we waste fighting against what is. This awareness is the first step towards choosing a different response. How do we practice surrender in our daily lives? It starts with a willingness to let go of expectations. For example, imagine traffic is causing you to miss an important meeting. Instead of spiraling into anger and stress, take a few deep breaths. Acknowledge the frustration, but also recognize that fighting it won't change the situation. Look for an alternative. Can you call the meeting and gracefully explain the delay? Can you utilize traffic time productively? Surrender is also about accepting things outside of our control. It might mean facing a difficult diagnosis, letting go of a relationship that has run its course, or acknowledging that our career didn't unfold as planned. While we can't control the outcome, we can control our response. By releasing our grip on a specific vision for the future, we open ourselves up to unexpected possibilities and peace in the present. Perhaps the most powerful form of surrender is surrendering the ego's need to know and understand everything. The mind seeks certainty, while life is inherently always in motion. Surrendering to the unknown takes courage, but it also opens the door to deep trust. When we let go of the need to fully comprehend why things are happening, we can cultivate a sense of faith in a greater intelligence at play. Surrender is often misunderstood as weakness. In reality, it requires incredible strength and inner peace. When we're not locked in a battle against life, there's more freedom to respond skillfully to whatever arises. Here's a simple mindfulness exercise to try in moments of struggle. Pause. Notice the feeling of resistance in your body, perhaps tension, tightness, or restless energy. Breathe, focus on your breath, slowing it down a bit. Each inhalation brings in a sense of acceptance, each exhalation releases a bit more tension. Affirm, silently repeat a phrase like, I trust the process, I accept what is, or, I release control. Remember, surrender is a journey, not a destination. It's an ongoing practice of releasing control, opening to the unknown, and trusting the unfolding of your life. 
Imagine the relief that comes with letting go of the constant struggle. Imagine the inner peace you'll cultivate, and the unexpected possibilities that will reveal themselves when you stop fighting and surrender to life's flow. Lesson 9. Overcome Fear and Anxiety Through Presence Fear and anxiety are pervasive human experiences. We worry about the future, replay embarrassing moments, and find ourselves trapped in cycles of what-if thinking. While some anxiety is natural and even adaptive, when it becomes chronic, it can seriously diminish our quality of life. So much of our anxiety revolves around things that haven't happened yet. Our minds create frightening scenarios, replay potential failures, and generally dwell on uncertainties. The problem is, the body doesn't distinguish between a real threat and an imagined one. Our heart might race, our breathing quicken, and we enter a state of fight or flight, even when there's no physical danger present. This is where mindfulness offers a radically different and effective approach. Instead of trying to fight fearful thoughts or suppress anxiety, mindfulness teaches us to relate to those experiences differently, through the lens of kind, spacious awareness. Here's the key, anxiety is rooted in the future, while presence is firmly anchored in the here and now. Every time you bring your attention back to the present, you interrupt the cycle of fearful thinking. Let's break this down. The next time you feel a wave of anxiety rising, try this. Acknowledge, don't try to push it away. Gently name the emotion, fear is present or there's a lot of anxiety here. Focus on the body, shift your attention to physical sensations. Where do you feel the anxiety in your body? Is your chest tight, your stomach churning, your jaw clenched? Just observe, without judgment. This act of embodiment anchors you and breaks the cycle of worry. Ground yourself. Notice the contact of your body with the chair or floor, the feeling of your breath moving. Direct your focus to simple sensory experiences that are here, right now. Compassion. See if you can bring an attitude of kindness towards your anxious self. Remember, these feelings are uncomfortable but aren't your fault. You can even place a hand on your heart as a gesture of self-soothing. Mindfulness won't magically eliminate all your fears, but it helps you unhook from them. With practice, you'll discover that anxious thoughts and emotions become less overwhelming when met with presence and self-compassion. This doesn't mean you won't experience difficulty but your resilience grows over time. Imagine this, instead of spiraling into panic the next time a worry arises, you recognize that it's just a thought pattern. You return your attention to the present, where nothing catastrophic is happening, and you start to feel a sense of calm returning. This is freedom. Mindfulness transforms our relationship with fear in other powerful ways. Exposure. Gradually, bringing awareness to fear in small doses helps us see that it's survivable. This makes the prospect of facing challenging situations less daunting. Self-understanding. Witnessing your own patterns around fear empowers you to choose new responses instead of being automatically reactive. Less judgment. You learn to observe fear with curiosity instead of immediately labeling yourself as a worrier or anxious person. The beauty is, any moment of presence weakens the grip of fear. You can practice while driving, waiting in line, or even in the middle of a social interaction. The key is to simply ground yourself in this moment, instead of getting swept up in the story your mind wants to tell. Remember, presence is a skill. It takes practice, patience, and self-kindness. The more you train yourself to return to the present moment, the easier it becomes, and the more courage, clarity, 
and peace you'll experience. Lesson 10. Death as an Illusion. Finding Immortality in the Present. Death is the one certainty we all face. And it's natural for the idea of our own mortality to evoke fear, sadness, or even existential questioning. Much of our cultural conditioning around death reinforces this fear, painting it as something to be avoided, a final and absolute endpoint. However, what if this isn't the whole story? Mindfulness, along with numerous spiritual traditions, offers a perspective that challenges this common view and invites us to re-examine our relationship with death. The essence of this idea is that death, as we conceive it, is an illusion rooted in our limited perception of time. The mind thinks in linear terms, past, present, and future. From this viewpoint, life has a beginning and an end. What mindfulness helps us uncover is that there's a timeless dimension to our existence that transcends the birth-death cycle. Our truest nature is pure awareness, the silent witness always present beneath the ever-changing content of our lives. This awareness isn't born and doesn't die. It simply is. To tap into this deeper truth, try this, during a quiet moment. Ask yourself who is aware of these thoughts? Who is aware of these feelings? See if you can locate a sense of pure presence that has no beginning or end, a space of consciousness that's untouched by anything happening in the external world. This timeless awareness is who you truly are, beyond the body, beyond the personality. The body may age and eventually cease to function, but your core essence, the observer within, is deathless. Realizing this can have a profound impact on how you live. The fear of death, while still a natural human response, begins to lessen. You realize that even amidst loss and grief, part of you, and part of those you love, continues on in a way that physical existence can't contain. Here's a helpful analogy. Imagine your life as a movie. Your body, your personality, the circumstances of your life, these are all characters and plot lines within the film. But you are also the screen upon which the movie is projected. Whether the movie is a comedy, drama, or horror film, the screen itself remains untouched. Similarly, your deepest essence is the unchanging ground upon which your life story plays out. Of course, this doesn't mean ignoring the reality of physical death or suppressing natural grief. It's important to honor and process those emotions fully. But this realization offers a sense of profound peace, knowing that a part of you is vast and timeless. It also can motivate you to live more fully present in each moment appreciating the preciousness of this life. Here's a simple exercise to connect with your deathless nature. Find a quiet place. Settle into a comfortable position where you can relax. Observe. Gently turn your attention inward. Observe your thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations without judgment. Witness the witness shift your attention towards the observer the one who is aware of all these experiences. Notice a feeling of silent, spacious awareness. Rest in the knowing, simply rest in the knowing that this awareness is always here, even underneath the changing content of your thoughts and emotions. Remember, this perspective may take time to fully integrate. Be patient with yourself, trusting that through mindfulness, you can discover a level of peace and freedom, even in the face of our impermanent human existence. Lesson 11. Mindfulness for Addiction Recovery Addiction is a complex and powerful disease that affects millions of people worldwide. It hijacks the brain's reward system, creating an intense cycle of cravings, compulsive behaviors, and often devastating consequences. 
While the road to recovery can be incredibly challenging, mindfulness offers powerful tools to support long-term healing and freedom. At its core, addiction is driven by an unconscious desire to escape uncomfortable states. Whether it's substances, gambling, disordered eating, or other compulsive behaviors, these act as temporary fixes to numb feelings of pain, anxiety, emptiness, or boredom. The problem is, these fixes create a destructive cycle and ultimately intensify suffering. Mindfulness disrupts this cycle by helping us face difficult emotions without needing to escape. It cultivates an inner witness that can observe cravings and addictive urges with awareness but without automatically giving in. This is incredibly empowering. Let's unpack how this works. Imagine a powerful craving arises. Instead of immediately reacting or trying to suppress it, mindfulness teaches you to pause and investigate the experience with curiosity. Notice the sensations. Where do you feel the craving in your body? Is it a tightness in your chest? Restlessness? A feeling of emptiness in your stomach? Simply observe these sensations without judgment. Name the emotion. Label what's underneath the craving. This is fear. This is loneliness. This is boredom. Just this simple act of naming can decrease the intensity of the feeling. Ride the wave. Cravings are like waves. They rise, peak, and eventually fall. Mindfully observing the sensations and emotions, you gradually discover that you can tolerate them without being controlled by them. This approach takes practice and self-compassion. You may slip back into old patterns, and that's okay. The real shift happens as you start to see your addictive urges more clearly, recognizing the triggers and unhelpful thought patterns that perpetuate them. This awareness empowers you to make different choices. Mindfulness also supports addiction recovery in other fundamental ways. Stress reduction. Stress is a major trigger for relapse. Practices like mindful breathing and body awareness help calm the nervous system and break the stress addiction cycle. Emotional regulation. You learn to identify, accept, and work through difficult emotions healthily, instead of turning to substances or compulsive behaviors to cope. Self-discovery. As you quiet the constant chatter of the mind, you reconnect with your true self, beyond the labels of addict. This builds a stronger sense of identity, crucial for lasting recovery. Present moment focus. Mindfulness helps you savor positive experiences, giving you something to cling to besides the fleeting high of your addiction. Here's a practice to try during a moment of craving. Pause. Step away from the trigger if possible. Find a quiet spot or even just take a few deep breaths. Observe. Bring non-judgmental attention to your body. Notice any sensations associated with the craving. Feel. See if you can identify the emotion driving the urge. Be gentle and compassionate with yourself. Remind yourself. Repeat a phrase like, this feeling will pass, or, I am strong enough to ride this out. Remember, mindfulness is just one crucial piece of the recovery puzzle. Seeking professional support is essential. But these practices provide a powerful inner compass, helping you navigate this journey with increased clarity, self-kindness, and the unshakable belief that true freedom is possible. Lesson 12. Design a mindful life for wellness and joy. Mindfulness is so much more than a technique you practice on your meditation cushion. It's a way of living, a way of approaching each moment with awareness and intention. When we integrate mindfulness into our daily lives, we tap into a deep wellspring of peace, purpose, and simple joy. 
One of the most beautiful aspects of this practice is its versatility. There's no single, right, way to create a mindful life. What matters is finding ways to weave awareness and conscious presence into the fabric of your everyday routines and activities. Let's explore some areas where mindfulness can make a difference. Eating. Slow down and put away distractions during meals. Notice the colors, textures, and flavors of your food with full presence. This mindful approach to eating can improve digestion and transform your relationship with food. Technology. Our devices are a powerful source of distraction. Cultivate awareness of your screen time. Designate tech-free periods throughout the day to regain your focus and be present with those around you. Movement. Whether it's yoga, walking, or running, bring mindful attention to the sensations of your body in motion. Release stress and enhance your enjoyment of physical activity. Relationships. When you truly listen, without judgment or formulating your response, you create deeper connection. Put your whole being into conversations with those you love, and notice the difference it makes. Work. Even if you don't love your job, mindfulness can change your experience of it. Take short mindful breaks throughout the day to reset and come back to tasks with renewed focus. Notice if you can bring more non-judgmental awareness to even stressful work situations. Difficult experiences. When life throws curveballs, mindfulness provides an anchor. It doesn't take away pain or frustration, but it helps you weather those storms with greater resilience and prevent emotional overwhelm. Here are some simple ways to infuse your day with many moments of mindfulness. Morning Ritual. Start your day with a few minutes of mindful breathing or meditation, setting a calm and focused tone for the hours ahead. Sensory breaks. Pay attention to the feeling of water on your hands when washing dishes, the warmth of the sun on your skin, or the sounds around you. These little anchors in the present interrupt the mind's autopilot. Transitions. Turn transitions like driving, waiting in line or your commute into mini-meditations. Focus on your breath or body sensations instead of getting lost in thought. Bedtime Reflection End your day by reflecting on a few moments of gratitude or by simply observing your breath as you fall asleep. The key is to keep it simple and realistic. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Start by choosing one or two areas where you'd like to be more mindful, gradually integrating more practices over time. Remember, this is a journey, not a race. There will be days when you're fully present and others when your mind feels scattered. Be patient and kind with yourself, and trust that with consistent practice, the benefits will continue to unfold. Imagine a life where you're less reactive to stress, more present with your loved ones, and able to find moments of peace even in the midst of a hectic day. Imagine experiencing a sense of deep appreciation for the small joys and approaching challenges with calm strength. That's the power of the mindful life. As we reach the end of our journey together, I hope the insights and practices we've explored have illuminated the transformative power within you. Remember, mindfulness isn't about becoming perfect or escaping the ups and downs of life. It's about developing a kind, curious relationship with your own experience. It's about finding freedom amidst whatever life brings. You are not your thoughts. You are the vast awareness that witnesses those thoughts, a presence that exists beyond the constant chatter of the mind. By anchoring yourself in that presence again and again, you discover a resilience and peace that simply can't be shaken. The challenges will still arise, the anxieties may still surface, but you now have the tools to meet them differently. You can ride the waves of cravings, emotions, 
and difficult situations with greater skill. You can break free from old patterns that kept you stuck. This journey of presence also unlocks an incredible sense of joy. You begin to savor the simple moments, finding beauty and wonder in the ordinary. Relationships deepen, work becomes more fulfilling, and you navigate the complexities of life with an unshakable sense of inner strength. These pages offer a map, but the true territory of mindful living lies within your own daily practice. Trust yourself. Notice the subtle shifts in perception. Be patient and kind as you train your attention, again and again, back to the sanctuary of the present moment. May this journey continue to unfold for you in ways that bring greater ease, greater freedom, and immense joy into your life. I wish you well, and may you always remember the boundless strength, peace, and love that reside within you.